Hello, Mrs. Neumeyer back here again with our study of probability. Now today we're going to be talking about combinations and we're going to be making our own pizzas. How many of you like pizza? Well, I know I do. Um, I am going to pretend this is a gluten-free crust so that I can have some too. Right? <laughs> when we talk about combinations, we want to talk about the arrangement or the order of some, when there, where the order doesn't matter. So we're going to be arranging our pizzas with a number of different topics, top it, toppings, but the order doesn't matter. All right, so I've got my pizza here, and each student can have one of these pizza templates here. We've got um, printed out, and I printed mine out on cardstock to make it easier to use. And then we've got some toppings as well. And so I, my toppings we're going to be using today are pepperoni, olives, and mushrooms. All right. What are your favorite toppings? Do you like those ones? All right. Take your pizza. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our toppings to the pizza and see how many different combinations of pizzas we can come up with. All right. And we're going to record our results as well. So to start off with, we're going to make some columns. I'm going to hold my board horizontally in order to come up with our columns here. We're going to say we're going to have zero toppings. What about one topping? Then we've got two toppings and three toppings. All right, so we're going to see how many of each of these combinations we can come up with. All right, so we've got this with no toppings, right? The cheese is the cheese is going to be on there because it's already on our printout. We're not going to consider that a topping. The cheese pizza is our zero topping pizza. So we'll just say C for cheese. All right. Now let's see how many other combinations we can come up with. So what I propose to do is take your pizza, take your toppings, and work together in groups to see how many different combinations of pizzas you can come up with. Or if you have younger students, this is something that you can do in class together as a class. And I'll show you that we'll do it together here. Or you can pause the video and have your students do it in maybe in teams of two, something like that, and come up with how many different combinations they come up with and then come back together and see if they got all the potential combinations. So let me show you what that looks like if you're going to do it as a class activity. So I'd show my pizzas and I'd actually hand out one to each of the students so that they can use these as well. So go ahead and take your toppings and let's give it a try. All right, I'm going to start off with pepperoni. What do you guys think? What are you going to start off with? What kind of pizzas do you want? I'm going to start off with a pepperoni pizza. So my pepperoni pizza would be a one topping pizza. Okay, what else? What other what other toppings should we try? Hmm, how about ooh, pepperoni and olive? Okay. Let me show you what that looks like. A pepperoni and olive pizza. All right. And so that would go under which column? To column number 2 for two toppings. Pepperoni and olive. All right, what's another combination should we try? Ooh, should we try pepperoni, olive, and mushroom? All right, how many, how many top, toppings is that? Pepperoni, olive, and mushroom. Ooh, using all three of our toppings. All right, let's try another one. What if I take off the pepperoni and our next pizza we make just has the two toppings, mushroom and olive. All right, so let's put that in our two topping, pizza, mushroom, olive. All right, what else is there? What do you think? You can give it a try. Let's see, what don't we have yet? What other options are there? What about a mushroom pizza? Just one topping. All right, let's do that. Let's do one 
topping mushroom pizza. Could we make this into a two topping pizza? Let's see, we've got mushroom and olive already. What if we do a mushroom and pepperoni pizza? All right, so we've got mushroom, pepperoni that we can put in our two topping column. Let's look, what else can we do? Can you see another one there? Let's go for a one topping. What, what is another one topping pizza we could have? He said olives. Yep, one topping pizza could be olives. All right, let's see. We've got our one toppings. We've got the pepperoni, mushroom, and olive. Okay, so we've got all of our one topping pizzas done. Can we do any more two topping pizzas? Let's see, we have pepperoni and olive. All right, let's start with our pepperoni. So we've got pepperoni and olive already. So I'm gonna make that one just to kind of think through this a little bit. If it's a little hard to tell, do we have everything yet? Pepperoni and olive, okay. Let's see, pepperoni and mushroom, do we have that one? Ooh, let's see, okay, pepperoni and mushroom. It doesn't matter what order it is, right? It's just the combination. So. Pepperoni and mushroom. Yep, we've got that. So we've got our two different pizzas that we can make with our pepperonis, two toppings. All right, let's check out, do we have everything that we can do with mushrooms? Let's do that one next. All right, so we've got the one topping mushroom. What can we do with our two topping mushrooms? We've already got mushroom and olive. So what else could we do with our mushroom pizza? What could we add that we haven't tried yet? Mushroom, olive mushroom pepperoni looks like we've got it we've got mushroom pepperoni mushroom olive is there anything else we can do with those toppings no we've got we've got them taken care of all right let's see we've already looked at what we could do with our pepperonis let's look what about our olives is there anything else we can do to combine with our olives so i've got olive here now what could we add Pepperoni. We have an olive and pepperoni now. Oh, yep, we've got it. What about olive and mushroom? Do we have it? Yep, we've got it up here. Olive and mushroom. Doesn't matter the order, right? Still the same combination. Okay, so I think we've got all of our possibilities for how many pizzas we could have with these three toppings. We could have a one topping pizza. There's three, four, five, six, if we include the two topping pizzas, seven with our three toppings. And if we include our just cheese, we have eight possible combinations of pizzas we could have here. So say those were your three choices of toppings and you order a pizza what are the chances that we're just going to randomly pull the right one for you? We'll remember our probability ratio where we have the desired outcome over the total. All right, so our total number of pizza possibilities that we have at our pizza shop today, there's eight possibilities, eight different pizzas that you could make. So let's pretend we make them all. Now, which one is your favorite? Which one do you want? Hmm. I might want the mushroom room. What's the chance that I'm going to get that mushroom room if we just randomly pick one off of the shelf out of the oven? It's one out of eight. Okay, so there's a one out of eight because it's my desired outcome is one because I want one pizza. All right, what happens now? Now, this will be for our older students. You can stop here if you have younger students. But if you have older students, you might want to give them the opportunity to see what happens if you add another topping. So I'm going to add green peppers as another potential topping. All right, so let's see. What could I do here? So the zero topping stays the same, but we could add a green pepper to our pizzas, right? For a one topping pizza could be green, the G for the uh, green peppers, because <laughs> I already have a P for the 
pepperoni. So we'll do G for green peppers. All right. We could do some more of these two combination pizzas, right? So take out your other toppings and see what you come up with and see how many combinations you have. Give it a try. All right, I'm going to work through it here. I've got green peppers and mushrooms. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Green peppers and pepperoni. green pepper and mushroom I mean green pepper and olives all right are there any others we've got the green pepper with mushroom we added green pepper pepperoni green pepper and olive all right let's try our three topping pizzas all right we've got our if we could have three toppings I'm gonna do green pepper olive pepperoni Okay, what else? I'm going to take that pepperoni off and put a mushroom on there instead. Right now I've got green pepper, olive, mushroom. Okay, I'm going to take off that mushroom. Is there anything else I can do that I haven't tried already? Let's see, I've got green, olive, pepperoni, green, olive, mushroom. Oh, nope. All right, so I'm going to take off that olive and I'm going to try... So play with these combinations. You can do it however you want to, to play around with it. Even just throw it on there and see if it works. All right, what if I have a green pepper, pepperoni, and mushroom? Ooh, let's see. Green, pepperoni, and mushroom. Okay, I don't have that one yet, right? All right, let's take off the mushroom and try an olive. Do I have green pepper, pepperoni, and olive yet? Oh, I do. I already have a green pepper, an olive, and a pepperoni. All right, let's take off that pepperoni and put on a mushroom. And let's, so do you see how I'm doing this? I'm just kind of playing with my toppings and seeing what combinations I can come up with. Green pepper, mushroom, olive, is that on? Oh, it is. Green pepper, olive, mushroom. All right, have I exhausted all of our three topping pizzas here? I think we have. All right, and I didn't leave enough room on my board, but you guys can plan for it if you're adding this fourth topping because what if I put all of the toppings on there? I get a four topping pizza. Green pepper, olive, mushroom, pepperoni. All right, that's one. So now let's see what our new total is. So we'll erase that. Our desired outcome will be still the same because we're still going to ha have one pizza. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. By adding that one additional topping, now we have 16 possibilities, 16 pizzas. And so what is the chances that you're going to get the one that you want? One out of 16. All right, so enjoy this activity. It's super fun, especially if we have these uh, hands-on sort of ways to practice with it, play with it, enjoy playing with your pizza combinations.